Hello, today's video is from uh, our Gold West Country Volume 1 book down in uh, Beaverhead County, uh, Bannock's Motherlode. And the story is about a Swede, a real big husky guy named Jim Olafson. And he was a miner in Bannock in the year 1866. Uh, he was one of the bachelor miner, miners living uh, in a small cabin on Yankee Flat. And uh, he didn't have a local nearby claim to work. So he prospected outside of Bannock. And uh, from the gold that was found in the Bannock region, no one ever found the source, the mother load of this gold. And so he'd be gone hunting for the source of all the gold in the Bannock area. And he'd be gone for a month and no one paid much attention because that was normal for miners in the area that didn't have a local claim they were working. Uh, so he'd head out with his pack, his pick, and his gold pan. And a month later he'd be back and uh, he'd end up going back out again uh, trying to strike it rich. And so one month he came back in and apparently according to the article we found, we found the old original article on the story uh, that caused uh, authors such as Thomas P. Terry and uh, Thomas Penfield to write about this man in their books. Uh, June of 1867, he came back into Bannock and he went into a saloon and uh, told everybody uh, he was buying drinks, he had it made, he was rich now and they kind of just played him off like he was drunk until he dumped out his pack on the table and they seen his ore samples and uh, there was an assay ran and his ore uh, praised at twelve thousand dollars a ton and somewhere to the south of Bannock is all they know where he found this stuff this strike and no one knew, even though they tried to follow him, uh, where his claim was. He said he told people it was so rich he could carve the gold out of the vein with a pocket knife. So anyway, uh, there was a big source of gold south of Bannock, but no one could ever find it. And one day, uh, the big Swede, Jim Olafson, his mind snapped. And he went crazy. And the story is that they put him in an insane asylum in Idaho where he later died. But no one ever found the source of the gold for the Bannock region. And so the uh, Jim Olafson story is the story of one person who is believed to have found the source of the gold for Bannock. So, uh, that's in our Gold West Volume 1 book, and it's uh, in the Beaverhead County section. And uh, uh, there's several other articles that all tell about this man. And uh, it's one of the old treasure story legends of uh, the early prospecting days around Montana in the southwest corner of the state. So I uh, hope uh, people enjoy the story. Uh, and... Uh, until next time, we'll have another video about lost treasures in Montana for you. Have a good day.